Hello again. This is going to be a continuation of the Articles of Freedom from the Continental Congress 2009. This will be video number 22. And uh, I want to, before I get started, I want to say these key words that I used at the beginning of Section D in my previous video. The Wild Lines, Wild Lands Project Heritage uh, wolf and bear reproduction, uh, reintroduction, conservation easements, open space. These are key words to UN programs where our parks have actually, under Clinton, a lot of them have been given to the UN. That's why the new naming. So, okay, that's out of the branch now and I left off and I was talking about the Hell's Canyon National Recreation Area you also might want to look up Tennessee River Authority and how they uh, flooded up uh, built the dams and everything and swallowed up whole towns uh, in the process of the Oak Ridge facility for the power for that region so uh, <clears throat> you'll understand what gov government can and will do based upon the need of the government so now we're into e remit, uh, remedial instructions to congress we the people find that the three branches of our government have violated the above provisions of the constitution and th therefore provide the following instructions one reintroduce and pass the property rights protection act s 1313 this legislation, passed in the House of Representatives in 2005, was introduced to overturn the Supreme Court's Kelo decision. The legislation specifically called for cutting off federal funds to any community that uses eminent domain for community development of private property. It was blocked in committee in the Senate. Passing this legislation is vital to correcting the destruction to American property rights caused by the Kelo decision. Two, repeal all legislation related to terms such as sustainable development, social justice, global community, or otherwise focused on land use, education, or population control reduction. Three, strengthen the Fifth Amendment by law, not a constitutional amendment, by requiring government at all levels to pay just compensation for regulatory takings. Uh, four, repeal and provide no funds to any agency working toward a North American union, union, regional, or global governance of any kind. Five, repeal all laws restricting the people's right to private property, its acquisition, its use, and its disposal. Six, defund and repeal all environmental protection agency legislation related to the United Nations movement to collectivize all property. 7. Reject or repeal all legislation related to public-private partnerships that relate to controlling population or setting new public policy aimed at making communal the property of the people. 8. Independently evaluate any determination by the United Nations or any non-governmental international organizations that are supportive of their promotion of top-down governance of society. 9. Repeal, I mean, excuse me, reject or repeal any laws, legislations that does not conform to the requirements of the Tenth Amendment. 10. Refuse to enter into the Copenhagen Treaty. Well, we didn't quite, but they did some other dirty stuff over there, cap and trade. That was what they were really going for. The Copenhagen Treaty was just the smoke. 11. Refuse to provide any funds to non-government organizations, NGOs. Uh, but there's still a threat there, though. There is that signing away of the sovereignty, which has been done before. So what they're actually signing away, I don't have a clue. Discontinue any association or funding of any activities related to the Security and Prosperity Partnership North American Leaders Summit. 13. Repeal all laws that take property from sovereign individuals merely accused or suspected of a crime. 14. Rewrite environmental laws to protect private property rights limited only 
by historic harm and nuance provisions of common law and mandate that federal lands meet their own standards. 15. Repeal all laws, regulations, and funding related to national heritage areas. 16. Prevent eminent domain from being exercised to convert private property from one owner to another private owner for public advantage. Eminent domain is only to be used to convert private property to public use for at least 20 years. 17. Repeal all laws granting the Army Corps of Engineers control over land or water rights of private property owners. 18. Repeal all laws, regulation, and or directives of any kind that regulate, control, or establish a national policy for the generation and distribution of energy. And 19. Let the free market determine how energy is determined, uh, how energy is generated and distributed. All right. F. Remedial instructions to each of the several states. Eliminate all taxes on private property such as land, buildings, tenements, automobiles, chattels, estates, real estate, real property, personal property, or property tax assessments. 2. The legislatures shall develop laws and regulations required to establish a state policy for the generation or distribution of energy that is based upon free market principles and operates pursuant to the rights of the states under the Tenth Amendment. 3. Leave the regulation, generation, or distribution of energy to the free market. 4. Pass a resolution declaring that the federal government has no power to regulate, control, or establish policy for the generation or distribution of energy within the state. 5. Pass laws defining private property and blocking the use of eminent domain for community development of private property. Let me check my time. Okay. G. Recommended civic actions by the people. Encourage self-education of property rights protected by the Constitution. 2. Get involved concerning the benefits of free market solutions to the generation and distribution of all sources of energy. We should include food in there because food's an energy. Local. Organic. Establish a petition drive throughout the state indicating that energy generation and distribution must be free from all government control. 4. Develop initiatives to place on the ballot that indicate your individual right to a free market in energy uh, generation and distribution. Contact your state senator, representative, and the governor and demand that they pass legislation that ends the federal government regulation of energy generation and distribution within the state. 6. Educate yourself about the truth behind climate change and the reality that global warming is not caused by man through carbon emissions. 7. Go to city council meetings to listen and participate in discussions. 8. Inquire through your council members during a meeting or by setting up a personal meeting to determine the role of the International Council on Local Environment Initiatives I-C-L-E-I in driving policy at the local level. 9. Build co coalitions of like-minded groups in order to build opposition to the implementation of Agenda 21, Sustainable Development at the local level. 10. Demand that your local government respect your right to a Republican form of government as enumerated in the United States Constitution and the various state constitutions by seizing the use of the consensus process and predetermined outcomes and comprehensive planning in order to dictate policy and implement anything that interferes with private property ownership. Reject the local reception of federal non governmental organizations, NGO, or foundations, grants, and or funding to the extent that they further the implementation of Agenda 21. I'm going to leave it off there. I'm out of time, and I'll start on 23.